Okay, going to make a comment on this verse, Acts 17, 26. This is a verse that the pro-racial integration professing Christians will always run to to try to prove that racial integration is okay in the eyes of God, and they won't read the full verse. They only read part of it, and I'm going to show you why. So, Acts 17, 26. And hath made of one blood all nations of men for to dwell on all the face of the earth. And they'll stop right there. They'll say, see, we're all of one blood. Um, read the rest of the verse. And hath determined the times before appointed and the bounds of their habitation. Hmm. Interesting. The bounds of their habitation. Go to Deuteronomy chapter 32, verse 7 and 8. Here's how it ties in. Deuteronomy 32, verse 7 and 8. Remember the days of old, consider the years of many generations, ask thy father, and he will show thee thy elders, and they will tell thee, look at verse 8, when the Most High divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of Adam, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Israel. Racial separation, that's simple. God likes racial separation. He likes distinction. And I said this before, the satanic agenda of, of racial integration is going to tie into the Antichrist government because he's going to use racial integration to bring in the one world system. That's simple. You can't you can't uh, bring in the one world government if the races, kindreds are separate. I keep saying races. Kindred is a biblical term. Kindreds are separate. You have to bring them all together. That's why I say that the uh, racial integration is a satanic agenda. That simple. The Most High divided the nations. He separated the sons of Adam. Racial integration. So don't be deceived when someone says, oh, God's okay with interracial marriage, and they use Acts 17, 26. Show them the full verse, the rest of the context of the verse, and then show them Deuteronomy, 30, Deuteronomy 32, verse 7, 8. It debunks their whole system. So don't be deceived. God bless you. Goodbye.